early 1950s, Taiwan suffered through a time known as the White Terror. It began in 1949 as people labeled bandit spies and accused of being communists or leftists were rounded up. Over 4,000 were executed. What was once an execution ground is now one of the public parks in Taipei. For our story today, we go back 60 years. That afternoon, Wu Shu, the ex Kuomintang vice chief of the general staff, faced a firing squad. The others sent to Ma Chung Ding with him were Lieutenant General Chung Bao Tang, Colonel Mie Xi, and a 45 year old woman known as Zhu Chen Zhi. As the gunshots rang out, the biggest spy case in Taiwan came to an end. Zhu Chenji was the only woman among the four. She was in Taiwan to liaise with General Wu. Within the ranks of the Communist Party, she was known as Zhu Feng. Her story remained locked away for many years. Like a maple leaf drifting to the ground in autumn, Zhu Feng was never heard from again. A trading firm located on Queen's Road in Hong Kong was the front for an underground liaison office run by the Communist Party of China East China Bureau. In the autumn of 1948, 43-year-old Zhu Feng arrives in Hong Kong to become the company's finance manager. A letter from Taiwan will change Zhu's life. It's unexpected, but she recognizes the handwriting and is excited. The letter is from Chen Zhu, her stepdaughter. At 21, Zhu Feng married Chen Shouqing, an engineer at an armory. Chen Zhu is his daughter. The girl is now with the Kuomintang police. She and her husband lives in Taipei and are inviting Zhu to visit. Chen Zhu is unaware of her stepmother's real work. Zhu Feng is unlikely to visit her, but is grateful to receive the letter. She has no way of knowing this simple invitation will alter her destiny. Instead, Zhu is looking forward to a reunion with her daughter on the mainland. That their life will Zhu is summoned to 26 Morrison Hill Road in Hong Kong. She is apprehensive because it's the liaison office of the Communist Party of China's Shanghai Bureau. Zhu meets Wan Jingguang, the party's top Taiwan affairs officer in Hong Kong. The Kuomintang Secret Service has nicknamed him the Devil. Zhu Feng has never met Wan and wonders why he invited her. (laughs) 
After simple greetings, Wan asked Zhu to go to Taiwan to receive military secrets. Her contact there will be Wu Shi, a Kuomintang lieutenant general. Zhu's fears come true. General Wu Shi is the vice chief of the Kuomintang general staff. He's a graduate of Baoding Military Academy, where he was a top student. In the autumn of 1949, a standoff is underway across the Strait of Taiwan. Every piece of information from Taiwan is crucial. General Wu has agreed to cooperate. The Communist Party is cautious as it selects a liaison person. The candidate should be experienced, but is Zhu suitable? In 1938, Zhu got her first job at the party's new knowledge bookstore. She worked there until 1945. Because of her talent for management, she was asked to run a party-owned business. Fasabu 把她调到香港去了，就这样。在香港的话，也是做这个。Zhu never gave any indication she was a spy. Nonetheless, some of her colleagues that she was passing along information. Truth, Zhu was an agent for the Communist Party of China. For years, she was known as a business person and manager. During that time, she had secret information. At what point she became an agent isn't known, but under the guise of being in business, she could survive one crisis after another. Zhu is the daughter of a distinguished family. She was born in 1905 a port city in Shijiang province. Her father, Zhu Yunshui, became wealthy in the fishing industry. Her mother was born even richer. Raised in such a family, Zhu became a well-educated, well-read, versatile, and well-informed girl. She possessed sound judgment and was unassuming. 
在这上面得到了，他有这样的社会关系。The Chinese Communist Party opens Ding Yuan Bank in Shanghai in 1946. It serves as a major fundraising channel, and Xu Feng becomes its manager. Xu often spends time with a younger sister and her husband. Both are agents of the Central Bureau of Investigation and Statistics, known as CBIS. During a mahjong game, Xu learns that investigators are probing a bank said to be run by the communists. The innocent remark by her brother-in-law alerts Xu and she has to head off a catastrophe for the communist party. Zhu's plan involves hosting a gathering to which calligrapher Sha Minghai is invited. He's compiling a family tree for Kuomintang leader Chiang Kai-shek. Sha Minghai was also her teacher and speaks highly of her calligraphy. Her name, Zhu Chenxi, was given by him. Zhu awaits the proper moment to ask Sha to write an inscription for a friend's bank. Zhu proceeds carefully. She deliberately mentions and prays for her friend who failed an investment and is opening a bank with borrowed money. Sha Menghai writes the inscription with ease as the other guests watch. Xu cautiously asks whether the character Ding will arouse suspicion. Her brother-in-law reassures her that it's okay. The bank with its name written by Shah, a favorite of Chiang Kai-shek, begins advertising in newspapers. Protected by the CBIS, it operates smoothly. Zhu's handling of a potential crisis is masterly. As the party looks for a liaison, the Hong Kong-based Zhu easily becomes a candidate. The arrival of Chen Zhu's letter is seen as a fortunate coincidence. The invitation can be used as a cover story for her trip to Taiwan. But Zhu will have to abandon her plan for a reunion with her daughter. Zhu is sleepless the night after her meeting with Wan. The task is so urgent that she has almost no time to make a choice. The mission will be full of danger. But disappointment over the postponement of her family reunion, rather than fear, holds her back. Unable to decide, Zhu writes to Zhu Zhuihan, her former director who recommended her for the Chinese Communist Party membership, 
Her natural generosity and earnestness helps the cause. In 1941, the financially strapped shop runs short of paper. Zhu doesn't hesitate to sell a three-carat diamond ring, a heirloom. <laughs> In 1948, New Knowledge Bookstore, Life Bookstore, and Reading Publishing House merged into a joint publishing company. Zhu's donation were of great significance. Zhu knows full well how seriously Zhu takes her duty. She may hesitate, but she will follow orders. Cloudy sky, even if there is a raging storm. In the autumn of 1949, Zhu Feng, a communist agent, arrives in Taiwan to work with Wu Shi, a Kuomintang lieutenant general. But as her mission is almost complete, a fatal mistake leads to her arrest. After failing a suicide attempt, can she endure the terror that awaits her? 